But for now, please put your hands together for Dirk Abentoth. Enjoy. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. So, hi everybody. Uh, salvos to all the Bavarians, and um, howdy to all the Sil Silicon Valley guys. And moin. Um, as you recognize, we've got a different traditional dress, born and raised in Hamburg. Uh, but I used actually to live in Munich for more than 15 years, and I need to make a big compliment. Whenever I return back to Munich, it always still feels like coming home. Okay, I'm going to take you through a couple of um, details of my lifeline. Would like to um, give you a little bit of insights why I end up where I am now, what brought me here, and uh, why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing and what our team tries to achieve. And that all started with a dream of an eight-year-old boy. You remember these kind of small pens with um, just a very tiny digital clock in the back? So I was simply fascinated. I got one as a takeaway from an industry um, player, and, and I just got it home. And I thought, OK, they are so tiny. That's so fantastic. What if I could make a phone call with my pen? That was actually more than 35 years ago. Well, and as you know, I missed the train for mobile phones and for smartphones. So I thought, OK, what are you going to do next? What are you really passionate about? And then I thought, OK, it's this car-centric emotional experience about speed, about driving pleasure, about freedom, about expressing myself, and of course, about sound. Vroom. And I went for it. So, startup, uh, no, um, OEM, an automotive OEM. But after a while, I figured the first indications that the entire 100 year old industry starts questioning itself. And it started challenging itself to find answers and solutions to carbon free mobility. And of course, wanted to be part of that transformation. So I volunteered for a startup and said, OK, I would like to go for developing and manufacturing carbon-free powertrains. And the idea was, I would like to be an engineer, an entrepreneur, and a pioneer of electromobility. And it was a very spontaneous decision. And I thought, OK, how come it was that quick? And well, you know the golden circle of Simon Sinek, why, how, what? And it was very simply speaking, the why was so strong. It was simply a why statement like, OK, I would like to reduce CO2 emissions. I would like to stop the climate change. I would like to make this world a little better. So it was a very strong why. Well, the next step, actually, on this journey was a real startup based in Silicon Valley focused on the market in China. And we thought, OK, what's going to be the next big thing? What's going to differentiate? What makes people buy this car instead of a different one? And we figured it's the user experience. No, not the user interface, the user experience. So you approach a mobility device, and then it recognizes you, it identifies you, it ramps up the system, it downloads your data, it personalizes, so it's something you experience, not just a single display or a single technology. It's an experience overall. And I very much liked that because it was actually the sweet spot of my passion, of my skills, of my experience. It was automotive, consumer electronics, IT, software, and humans. So you see the shift from technology focus into focus of interface between humans and technology. I like that. And that is actually where my current assignment comes into play. So Continental actually partnered with Leia, a small Silicon Valley startup company, which provides 3D holographic display technology. And we are actually partnering in terms of engineering, development, as well as system integration into an automotive industry compound, and of course, for large-scale manufacturing. 
And of course, we got all of that connected to the cloud and to all the apps behind. And of course, we are using AI, not only for this part, but also for manufacturing, for HR to identify skills and make match analysis, etc. But we're not only committed to connect these dots. We're actually committed to connect many more dots. We believe, believe we can truly make mobility the heartbeat of life. Because we believe there's going to be another move from focus on technology towards focus on interface between humans and technology towards a focus only on the humans. And that's what happens. So we're going to have multimodal mobility with very specific and individual needs of very many millions of people. And these actually change every day. But we also see a huge amount of data being generated and already today transforming and changing the way how we do manufacturing, logistics, supply chain, delivery of goods, etc. And one of the key things actually is we start to understand how data creates value. Yeah, that's a tricky one. But we have actually started to implement and commercialize data monitorization. And as you see, on the screen are very many different players who are all playing in the playground of new mobility. And we believe even a couple of more will enter stage. One, for example, can be health industry. And as you see, it's kind of a conversion of all these different industries. And Continental actually provides a platform to get all these verticals integrated into a solution. So now coming to the theme of Bits and Pretzels 2019, impact. How can we, how can you have an impact? Continental actually provides two answers. One is a very strong tandem. The tandem is on the one hand side, the big flagship of nearly 50,000 engineers in Continental. The second one in the tandem actually is a very small company. It's called Copace. And the purpose of this company is a very simple one. It's just to understand what do you need to be successful in the business and how can you connect to us? What do you need? Do you need kind of, for example, a simple way to connect to us? It's not easy to speak to a company with, uh, with 250,000 employees. And for example, you need somebody, for example, can simply find the right way of financiation, of legal support, and whatever have you. All of that is the purpose of Copace. If you'd like to get in touch, please talk to Jurgen Bido, the managing director of Copace. He's going to be one of the captains on our captain tables. Well, the second part is, as usual, leadership. Whenever you would like to change your product portfolio, don't make it top down. It looks like this. You're just framing a box like, like this. And then you ask your people, please think into this box. That sounds strange, doesn't it? Think into the box. Have you ever heard this before? Doesn't make sense. But that's what most of the companies do. Instead, I strongly recommend the opposite way. Talk to your people, to your employees. Talk to your customers. Talk to a couple of competitors. Talk to a couple of external people. And ask them, what do you think and what do you feel about our products in five to 10 years? Listen carefully, collect, and then frame the most important parts. Give it a certain direction, and I promise you, the product portfolio will follow. OK, so that's actually what brought me to where I am right now. And I'm pretty sure we are able to make this new mobility happen 
in co-creation with you, the innovation machine, the startups. Thank you.